Hi, I'm Aaron Repke, Director of Product Marketing for Electric Actuation at Emerson. Today we're talking about the Bettis RTS Failsafe Quarter Turn Electric Actuator. We've got it mounted here on a Fisher V-Ball valve, and we're going to talk about some basic setup and configuration of this actuator. You'll want to refer to your user manual and be careful to note all instructions and safety recommendations. We'll be demonstrating the mechanical failsafe capability of the Bettis RTS actuator. And we'll also be showing you how you can vary the speed of that mechanical failsafe. You can reference section 6.6 .6 in the user manual. You'll also need a five millimeter Allen key for this job. So to acquaint you with our setup here, we have the actuator fully open. You can see 100% open on the display. Uh, the spring return will be what uh, triggers the failsafe and moves the valve. And we do have the actuator set up on a four inch Fisher V-Ball valve. So first step will be to fail the actuator and we'll show you what that looks like at the slowest operating speed. The first step to adjusting the speed of the mechanical failsafe stroke is to remove the cover on the brake system. But before we do that, we'll want to make sure that the actuator is in the fail position here at 0% and that the power is off. For this operation, you'll need a five millimeter Allen key. We'll remove the four bolts that are in the end of the uh, actuator brake cover. You'll want to carefully remove the cover on the brake and set it aside. In order to make the adjustment on the eddy current brake, we're going to need a three millimeter Allen key. We'll be loosening, but not removing four bolts. One is here, the top, one on the side, one on the other side, and one on the bottom. We're going to insert the Allen key into the borehole here and rotate it clockwise in order to move it to the maximum speed position. Next, we'll rotate. No, gotta loosen it up more. We'll rotate the eddy current brake and retighten the screws holding the brake in position. Finally, we'll need to reinstall our brake cover. Sliding it on carefully, making sure to not snag any of the wires and lining the holes for the screws. Again, our five millimeter hex head Allen key will be used here.
we got the cover back on, and now we'll demonstrate the fail-safe functionality now with the setting at the highest speed. The brake cover is fully assembled back on the actuator, power is back on, and we have the valve and actuator in the fully open position. So now you'll see the fail-safe speed at that top end of the range for the RTS. Once we kill power, 